Hello everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our iPage hosting account. We'll begin with the getting started email and we'll click on the link for the control panel. We'll log in. And here you see the VDEC control panel. We'll go down to the website section and click on the WordPress icon. Mojo Marketplace Installer is loading up. And this is the Mojo Marketplace Installer. We'll click on the Install button. First we'll need to select the domain name in which to install WordPress. We would like to install it on our test site, so we'll select that from the drop-down. As we will be using WordPress as the content management system for the entire site, we would like to install WordPress into the root directory. So we're going to leave this form field as it is. We'll click on Check Domain. The message says that it looks like files already exist in that location and we would like to overwrite those files. So we'll click continue. We would like to see the advanced options so we'll check that box. We'll call our website NCM test site. Username, our email address is fine. We'll use the default password they've entered for us. Automatically create a new database for this installation. We'll leave the check mark as it is and we'll check off agreeing to the terms and conditions and then we'll click install now. We'll just get rid of the pop-up ad and here's the progress bar showing the installation. Unlike the Softaculous or Installatron installers Mojo Marketplace is quite slow in comparison. I would suspect that has something to do with the fact that they would like you to browse their themes. We'll click on View Processes and here is the progress bar. We had done a previous installation. You can see here that's already completed. We removed the previous installation of WordPress. Meanwhile, we'll wait for the installation to complete. Our installation is complete and it just disappeared. So we'll click on View Processes. Once again we'll click on View Credentials and here we can see the installation credentials. This is the URL for our new WordPress site and this is the login URL. Why it has two slashes here I have no idea. We'll copy our password and click the link for the WP Admin login. We'll paste our password and here you can see our new WordPress dashboard. From this screen we can manage all of the WordPress functions. We can create a new post simply by clicking the plus new post link. And 
we could enter a title here, our content here, and click publish right here. But meanwhile, we'll just take a look at our site to see that everything looks okay by clicking the visit site link. And this is our new WordPress site. This is the default Hello World post. You can delete that using the dashboard. You can also change this rather plain theme by using the WordPress dashboard. I want to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.